Hey guys, welcome to Atari 37, and I'm reviewing this, which is the Marvel Legends series, Multi-Man Build-A-Figure Wave, Stealth Suit Spider-Man, so this is really cool. Um, I really like the packaging on this, and it's something with all the figures in the wave. It's a little hard to see, uh, but you'll notice the box here. It's actually, instead of like black, it's like navy blue, like a dark navy blue. It looks really good. I actually like the really, the coloring they used for this. Then we have the Legend series in white and then red. Then we have the red Tom Holland Spider-Man logo, which looks really nice up there. Build a figure molten man. A nice cool review of him in box. And we have Spider-Man Far From Home and Spider-Man written there. On this side, we have some really cool artwork of him swinging in the self-suit. I absolutely love the self-suit. I think it looks great. And on the back, we have a bigger picture. We have the Holland emblem back there again. We have a bio on Spider-Man, his new costume. We have the other characters in Wave and Molten Man. Now, I'm going to be reviewing Mysterio, uh, but I'm probably not going to be reviewing anyone else from this Wave or the Build-A-Figure. Because, quite frankly, I think Molten Man looks awesome. I absolutely hate this build a figure, I am not gonna lie. And the big thing about this that I really hate is just the proportions on this guy. Like he has one small leg, one small arm, and then one giant arm, and one giant leg. It just looks weird. I know that's how it appears in the movie, but it's still just really weird to me, and I don't like the proportions on it at all. But yeah, so uh, let's open this up. So here we have Spider-Man and his stealth suit. From far from home and uh, definitely looks really cool um, but yeah the stealth costume I absolutely loved in the movie very neat or I guess night monkey as it's referred to in the film um, just really cool looking really awesome definitely looks like something Schuld would make and I also like the idea too that they were trying to like mask the concept of spider-man existing in like different countries that way you know like no one would suspect Peter I thought that was actually pretty smart because honestly before the movie it came out when we had seen the trailers I just kind of found it annoying that you know no one was bringing up why spider-man's following them all around so I'm glad the movie addressed that, and I really like the look of the costume. The details on the face are nice. I've always loved like that it has the silver kind of lens. I don't think it actually had these in the movie. I think they just had the standard white ones, but I like the silver lens. They were on some of the other action figures in this wave, and I kind of wish they had included it, but it looks nice. And I love the detailing on the mask. It's almost like a regular mask. Looks a lot like Spider-Man Noir there. Uh, very cloth, very cool looking. I do like that. Very neat. And then he's got his collar, which is cool, and you can kind of see how it zips up. I like that. Uh, here's where it like, kind of feels like an emblem would be. I wish they had put the Shield logo there. That would have been pretty cool if they had. But nonetheless, it's neat. It's got some lines. I like the belt, too. You'll notice these little pockets on the side of it that are pretty cool. Then he's got his shoulders there, and I like the little bands that go around it and shoulder pads. And, uh, yeah, just looking pretty cool. And then he's got his fingerless gloves. Uh, they brought those back, kind of similar to his first costume in the MCU, the homemade one. And then I like his web shooters. I like how, too, they're kind of, like, hard to see with how it's positioned underneath his hands there. But I do like that they included that detail. And then you can see the lines... And uh, my favorite thing about this is probably just that it looks more like an armor. It's so cool all the way around. It's got all these little lines on it. And again, I do like the fingerless gloves. And I like the little indents in the design there on them. I think it's pretty neat. And then his feet. And uh, yeah, so overall, very cool, very awesome. In terms of articulation, he's got a 360 at the head. He can look up and down. He's got 360s at the arms. Swing out the shoulder. Really cool. He's also on butterfly joints, which is not what I was expecting for this. I did not expect it to have those. So that's very cool and very awesome. You got a 360 there. Double jointed elbows. 360 at the wrist. And they're on hinges. Ab crunch. Goes pretty forward. Some back pretty far. And you got a 360 at well. Yeah, you got a 360 at the torso, a little stiff at first, legs come forwards, backwards, and outwards. You have a 360 at the thigh, double jointed knees, which is nice, and the feet move up and down, and they also rotate. So, in terms of articulation, it's what you probably come to expect with Marvel Legends. It's very good, very nice, and the detail on it is really nice as well. Now, as for accessories... Um, you do get the Bolt Man arm, which I did want to show a size comparison with this. It is way taller than Spider-Man. 
Um, and again, this is just my problem with it. Like, if the entire Molten Man bath was, like, this big, I would like it. But I just hate the proportions on it. And, um, yeah. But, uh, really cool. You do get some accessories. You get the, um, alternative style hands. So if you want Peter Webb slinging, you can do that. It's kind of weird, too, because they put both fisted hands on them. But a lot of times with the Spider-Man figures, if they have alternative hands. And a lot of times with most figures in general, they'll just put one of the alternative hands on. So that way you can have an alternative of the other hand. Weird the fist is on both of them, but still nonetheless, it's pretty cool. And then you get this on mask or alternative head, which is really cool. So it's the Spider-Man mask and uh, basically the same head as that, only the visor is flipped up. So just like it does in the movie, I think that's really cool. You can see his eyes in there and they've got some nice paint on them. I really do like this. I thought it was cool that it did that in the movie and I like how it kind of looks like they're flipped up there. Very cool. And uh, just to show you what that looks like with the visor head up, it does look very cool. And uh, also I put on a web swinging hand there if you want to see that. Um, but yeah, I would tell you, or I would like to tell you, uh, just when you're putting on the head, be careful with how you do that, because with the visors, they're on there pretty tight, but you don't want them to snap off. So overall, I think this is a pretty great Spider-Man action figure. Um, it's really neat. I like the suit, and definitely recommend it. I think it's cool. If you like the suit movie, definitely worth picking up. And, uh, it's a big departure from the standard Spider-Man suits. I know a lot of people have had different opinions on it, but overall, I like it. I think it's pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Please rate, like, and subscribe.